Hello friends, so finally Revit 2025 is released and there are some exciting features which has been added in Revit 2025. So I'm going to discuss with you the architectural part, what are the enhancement in the Revit architecture. So in the previous version of Revit 2024, Topo Solid was introduced and there is some enhancement in topo solid so first one is excavation so now you can ex excavate using your uh, topo solid so you can use your any intersecting element like roof floor or topo solid and you can ex excavate this and i'm going to tell you how to excavate this one so you can see this is a topo solid and now i'm going to my uh, topo solid here and i'm going to draw any intersecting surface so that is the floor so i'm going to draw a floor here simple floor and i'm going to draw a floor here so suppose this is our floor and now i'm going to finish edit mode and now you can see this uh, floor is here and this is our topo solid so now you can select your host topo solid so now i am going to select this host topo solid and now you can go to this modified topo solid you can see here and you can go to this settings here topo solid shaping so now you can see excavate here in this option here and there is a drop down arrow so i am going to select this one and you can see here there are two options excavate or remove excavation so now i'm going to select this excavate so i'm going to select this and now it is asking to select your intersecting element so now i'm going to my floor here and i'm going to select this floor here and that's all you can see this excavation is done here so you can see a very nice uh, excavation here so it will be a remarkable enhancement in Revit Topo Solid 2025. So if you want to remove this excavation again, so we can go to select this Topo Solid host again and you can go to modify Topo Solid and you can go to excavate, select this drop down arrow and you can select this one, remove excavation. And now I'm going to select my this floor again and uh, you can see highlighted topo solid and floor overlap so now it is removed so this is the uh, first imp uh, enhancement in the revit topo solid so you can use this uh, tool now the next improvement in topo solid is that now you can use soft in a topo solid so in previous version, soft opening would cut through the entire topo solid element. Now the bottom of the soft is respected in relation to its position within the topo solid. You can use soft elements in conjunction with the topo solids and adjust the bottom of the soft to the model condition without the soft element cutting all the way throughout the topo solid element. So this is the good enhancement. So now I'm going to soft here and i am going to draw a shaft here and i am going to finish this and now we can see here you can adjust this bottom here and you can see this is cut here by using soft so now it is very easy for you to cut through the soft here now the next improvement is that boolean surface host elements so host elements to the exposed surfaces of a to topo solid after it has been cut the boolean surfaces acts as the original surfaces of the topo solid element when hosting elements such as a railing or planting element so now this will act as a original surface of this topo solid so if you place any railing or planting element it will act as a host so now i am going to my place a component here and i am going to place any tree here and you can see this is acting as a original and this tree is easily placed here so this is the next improvement in this rabbit 2025 
now another in enhancement in revit 2025 topo solid is that now we can set elevation base from top plane so if you go to your level one here and you can see now you can uh, view your contour lines while editing your topo solid and you can see this is the add point and now you can see here all the contour lines are also visible in this revit 2025 and you can go to this elevation base and if you click on this drop down arrow now you can uh, use this top plane to set your elevation base so in the previous version it was not there so this is the good feature so another improvement in Revit 2025 topo solid is that now we can do a smooth setting of your topo solid so if you want to make a bit smoother of your topo solid depending upon how much contours is there you can do this by smooth setting so you can go to massing and site here and in topo solid you can see this model site here and you can click on this arrow and you can see here topo solid smooth setting so you can see display topo solid elements in the model with smooth surface so it will display smooth surfaces so i'm going to select this and now you can see this message here enabling the smooth setting mode will result in the following effect on the topo solid display function is smooth display of topo solid when using shaded consistent color texture and realistic visual style so i'm going to close this and you can see this surface has become a bit smoother and you can use this for your complex contour so the result will be much much smoother so this is also a great feature in revit topo solid 2025 so another uh, improvement in revit topo solid 2025 is that now you can uh, do better conversion of topo surface into topo solid if you are using lower version of revit uh, uh, apart from 2024 and 2025 there was a topo surface in the lower version of revit so you can be converted better in revit 2025 solid so when working with legacy files containing topo surfaces and building pads converting the topo surface to a topo solid retains the building pads as excavated areas on the topo solid so now if in your lower version of uh, revit topo surface if there there will be a uh, building pads that will be shown as a excavation in topo solid revit 2025 so it will save a lot of time so this is another great enhancement so another great improvement in topo solid 2025 is that now we can create a topo solid from a mass faces so you can see here this is the massing which i have created from in place mass i'm going to massing inside and i have created this massing by using in place mass so now you can convert this to topo solid so there is a one new feature which has been added in revit 2025 topo solid so i'm going to massing inside you can see this feature here topo solid by face you can create an element using non vertical face of a mass so this is my mass here and i'm going to show you how to convert this in topo solid so i'm going to massing inside and i'm going to select this topo solid and you can select this mass here and you can select onto this create topo solids and and you can see how easily it has been converted into topo solid so this is also a great feature which has been added in revit 2025 topo solid so this is a good improvement in this revit 2025 version so another uh, good improvement in autodex revit 2025 is that now we can create walls with auto join and lock system so this is a new enhancement so if i'm going to draw a wall here suppose i'm going to draw a generic 8 inch here so you can see this is our wall here and now i'm going to draw a, another wall here and suppose i'm going to select this generic 4 inch here and you can see this option here placement a, a auto join and auto join and lock so auto join and lock will automatically joins and locks and newly created architectural walls with adjacent wall so this is our architecture wall so i'm going to draw adjacent wall here so i am going to select finish face exterior and i'm going to draw a wall here suppose 
and i have selected this auto join and lock so it will be automatically join and lock so if we will move this wall this will be also moved alongside with this because this is locked here and anything if you will create a door opening this will be uh predated through the both the walls so suppose i'm going to make a door here so you can see this is penetrated through the both the walls so this is a good enhancement in this revit 2025 so another improvement in revit 2025 is now we can wrap the wall so you can see this is the wall here i'm going to select this wall and i'm going to edit type and you can see here wrapping at insert do not wrap so i'm going to change this to exterior and wrapping at ends is none so i'm going to change this to exterior again and i'm going to apply click ok and now you can see this is wrapped at the end so this is another feature here and you can see this allow end wrapping so we can select this one this will be disallowed and you can also select this allow here so now you can do this wrapping by using this edit feature here so another improvement is that now we can create your seat collection in revit 2025 so we can see here this seat icon here in project browser you can right click here and you can create your new seat collection if you are having uh, multiple seats here so you can go and select this new seat collection and you can see here name collection so suppose i'm going to uh, rename this as a glad here and i'm going to apply and you can see this is changed to a uh, new collection here and after that you can create another collection so you can again uh, rename this or you can create new collections from this one so another enhancement is that now we can align your text here so previous version you are required to manually do align this so now you can all together you can select these seats and you can see here this align multiple align here category and you can align to left you can align to center you can align to right so i am going to align to left here i am going to align center here and i am going to align to right here and you can uh, use this align techniques to uh, place this align text in your scene so this is the new improvement Another great improvement in Revit 2025 is that now we can create arrays of 1 and zeros in families. So in the earlier versions you were not able to create arrays less than 2 but in Revit 2025 you can create arrays of 1 and 0 also. So suppose I am going to make this as 1 here. You can see um, this one is grayed out here and there is a single uh, furniture is available here so we can create a uh, uh, arrays of one also and you can create zero also so this will not show any error here so this is also great feature so you can see here this is showing zero here and you can load into your project and you can work uh, in one and zero also in revit families so that's all for now these are the key improvement in revit 2025 so please like share and subscribe my channel in the next video tutorial we'll we'll discuss more about in revit so thanks for watching bye bye